We are driven to enhance the built environment by providing human settlements which suit the ever-changing needs of our society. We consider the parliament as one of the major organs in this country with a key role to make laws for peace, order and good governance to prevail. Their dignity matters, driving us to address the issue of overcrowding by creating an environment in which they can judiciously perform their duties. We are talking of 350 legislators, including the Senate and National Assembly, and 248 secretariat staff, state security and Zimbabwe Republic police officers assigned to parliament. The present car park can only accommodate less than 100 vehicles. This has prompted government to construct a new parliament building with adequate space. It began way back in 1983. A site was identified at Kopi, but construction was stalled due to lack of funding. In 2005, the brief of the 1980s had to be altered. In 2006, cabinet approved new designs addressing space requirements and proposals for a new site with a wide variety of land use. The Harare Mazoi Bindura corridor was identified as suitable for the project. In accordance with the agreement signed on the 1st of December 2015 between the Government of the People's Republic of China and the Government of the Republic of Zimbabwe, China agreed to provide a grant for construction of the Zimbabwe Parliament Building under the China Aided Project to the tune of 676.43 million. The Zimbabwean government has also committed funds for enabling works to kickstart the construction of the processes. Shanghai Construction Group Company Limited won the tender for the construction of the project. The construction group is one of the leading construction companies which has undertaken many important tasks in the building and modernization of China's cities. The project is located in Harare, the capital city of Zimbabwe. The construction site is located on a mountainous terrain, which is about 20 kilometers from the present parliament building in the city center of Harare on six hectares of land, which covers the relatively flat terraces of the mountain. It is a natural landmark 70 meters high than the surrounding area and is a magnificent panoramic view of the surroundings. With the country's law made in parliament, it is befitting to have the new parliament building at the highest point of the new city, symbolizing the importance of its nature. The prototype of the design is curved, emulating the great enclosure while combining modern design techniques to bring the local historical context into the architecture. It is designed according to the terrain and local conditions. The public authority is highlighted in the center of the building to signify the importance of public opinion. The scheme respects the topography, climate and human conditions in achieving harmony between the built environment and nature. In the outer space, there is combination of traditional and modern designs to blend between the splendid modern and the traditional architecture. A visual treat to the modern and traditional combinations of the architecture is visible in all angles, coexisting harmoniously together. Space is created for use by different groups of people, providing a functional layout for coordination of activities without interruption with organized floor lines. The east and west access from a symmetrical combination is enhanced by the natural elevation to the conference area. Cascading stays create a majestic image with a water feature bringing out the natural elements creating a refreshing aura. It corresponds with the city surroundings blending with the natural look and form. The design provides the catalyst for the construction of the new city surrounding the new parliament building. The new city poses our nation as a breakthrough to our futuristic planning and designing to meet the global trends in human settlements. The attainment of our needs of this modernity, which is fueled by rapid digitalization and volatility, requires sustainable urban solutions to deal with our rapidly expanding population pursuant to economic growth. The new city reconciles the history that has led the country to its present state presents a solution regarding the future and proposes how future generations will interact with their built environment. The new parliament building will be constructed on 33,000 square meters. It consists of common areas, the second chambers, 
General Assembly and Senate, multi-purpose hall, lounges, committee rooms, meeting rooms, a public conference area, VVIP area, VIP area, an administrative department, the general public and news reporters area, indoor parking, the special services area includes the Senate chamber, the representative chamber, the Senate conference room and Senate lounges. Each part of the chambers has space for the public and the press with other functional rooms on the north of the Senate. The special committee rooms are in the south with the other spacious rooms for auxiliary use in the north. Fire control rooms, equipment rooms, a spacious parking bay and other functional rooms are arranged in the basement. The other administrative departments are housed between the first and fourth story. The VIP in the fifth story, the VVIP in the sixth story. The horizontal and vertical transportation system of the whole building is based on the needs of different groups of people. The building creates comfortable accessible traffic flow lines. The construction colors resemble the Zimbabwean feel, bringing out a symbolic associative visual stimulation. Construction material and colors respect the local architecture of the original time, forming artwork which combines the bold, natural texture with the modern outlook. The interior design is more dignified, spacious and modernized, affording each legislator space and comfort and improved posture and room for creative collaboration. This is one of the major projects which Zimbabwe is pursuing towards becoming a middle-income economy by 2030 as we open up to smarter urban infrastructure investment. Thanks to the diplomatic relationship which we share with the People's Republic of China, which is strengthened by mutual desire for